he was immediately before the accident. But he was already dead. Dead from a heart attack, so the accident didn't kill him. Only one more wish. In it. Please go away. Please. Leave me alone. I want to be alone with him, please. Only one more wish. Only one. I mustn't waste it. I must be careful. Please, please. I wish Ralph were alive now. I don't want him to die ever. I want him moving, breathing, talking alive. Now, forever. What happened? What have you done? I wished him alive again forever. But don't you realize he's been embalmed? His veins are filled with embalming fluid burning into him. Oh, no. Oh, he do something. forever. I can't kill him. Every piece of him is alive still. Alive and suffering forever. see. What's more important is what you will see. Well, who are you? Well, what do you want with us? To warn you of what may happen. I don't care about your warnings. I want to get out of here. Very well. But you should heed the warning. Major Rogers. You might show me to my quarters and have someone get my kit in, will you? Shane, here. Oh. 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 Goodbye. There were pictures on the wall. Where have they got? Personal property of your predecessor, sir. Well, we must get some more. I'll go down to London and have a look around the galleries. Where are the men? Uh, the patients. They've gone to lunch, sir. You mean dinner, sir, Charles? Bon appetit, Mr. Carter. Thank you, Harry.
Good morning. My name is Rogers, Major William Rogers. I've been appointed your new superintendent here and take up my duties today. I've had considerable experience in dealing with men as an officer in the army. I promise you I will do this job to the best of my ability. I hope we'll all get along well. If there are any complaints, I shall be pleased to deal with them in my office at any time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Oh! Oh! Well, Shane, after I made a few changes, I think we're going to like it here. an extra blanket. Yes? The men have asked me to come and talk to you. Yes? It's about the heating. very cold as past few nights. We wondered if... For reasons of economy, the heating is now turned off each evening at twenty hundred hours. We'll all be in bed by then. After all, there's no point in staying up. You can't see anything. The beds are cold. There aren't enough blankets. I'm trying to run this place as efficiently and as economically as I can. I'm afraid the current budget does not include the cost of new blankets. Do you know anything about blind people? No, I can't say I do until I took over this job. But I was in the army for over 20 years, and I learned to handle all kinds of men there. With all due respect, sir, we are not soldiers. And blind people are not like people with sight. We have lost one sense, but the loss of that one sense only tends to sharpen the other. Do you know what that means? We feel things more acutely. If food is bad, it tastes worse to us. If a room is dirty, we feel every speck. If an insect scurries across the floor, we hear it. And if it's cold, we feel the cold more. Why don't you sell that painting and buy us fuel or extra blankets? I was not aware that the administration of expenditure for this establishment has been handed over to you, Mr. Carter. Good morning. <laughs> 